Hello, welcome to my channel. Today we're looking into the disappearance of this man. I have no idea how to pronounce his name. Um, he went missing May 1st, 1982 from Salt Lake City, Utah. He was 38 years old. I did a nameless case search just for a male of between 5'3 and 5'6 because it says he was 5'5 for 1992 between the ages of 35 and 40. And I came up with nothing, so I don't know. Um, it says he was last seen walking to the post office in downtown Salt Lake City. How does it say hair color unknown? Hair head description bald, black eyes. Wearing sky blue colored turban on head. Black pants, white shirt, unknown type of black shoes. Okay, so now we go to the Doe Network. It says 38 years old, 5'5", five five, 110 pounds, brown beard and mustache. See, some people, that's the thing. Some people, when they look at hair, like one person will say that their hair is black. And somebody else that's been around hair that's black a lot will say that it's not black, that's dark brown, because they'll consider something else black. And it's the same with blonde. Some people will say that somebody has blonde hair because they've had blonde hair since they were little, but as they get older, it starts to turn browner, and somebody else will call it sandy, and somebody else will look at it and say it's brown. So, you know, I just thought I'd mention that. I don't know why. Okay, this has the same information. Then we go to the Charlie Project, which often has more information. This says he's six foot to six foot one. Wait a minute. Five foot five, five foot five, six foot to six foot one. Why does it say he's six foot to six foot one? That would change everything. I don't understand that. Is that a typo or something? White shirt, black pants, black shoes, and a sky blue turban. No, I'm confused. I didn't look for anybody that was six to six foot one. Uh, scroll on top of his head. May use the last name Singh. Was born in India and travels on an Australian passport. He is of East India descent. Was last seen walking to the post office. Never been heard from again. Few details are available in his case. So then I go here to search, right, to see if I can't find anyone. And I, I look for somebody that's 5'5", five five, right, because I couldn't find anything on NamUs. And I found this person in Grand Junction, Mesa, Colorado, which isn't really that far. Um, age 30 to 39 years old, they were discovered in 1983, which he went missing in 1982. So that's like a year and a half later. Partial skeleton parts only. They don't have any information about the person. The remains were found near Promen... Yeah, I'm not... I can't pronounce that either. Promontory Point. Something like that. And the Redlands Canal. And then we have this one that was found in Beaver County, Utah. And this is two to eight years prior. And he went missing 12 years prior. Um, blunt force trauma. And I thought this was interesting. And that's not that far from where it was found, but that's 12 years. But they have this one and this one. But they found two people. And one of them says five foot five, Hispanic Latino, two years prior. And this one says two to eight years prior. So blunt force trauma, unknown cause of death. So and then it has more information on it. What they were wearing, 
clothing, ace type bandage. So I wonder if they died at the same time or if it was different times. Because one says two to eight years and the other one says two years. A couple riding their horses discovered the skeletal remains in a brush covered prairie three miles north of Milford. The descendant's manner of death is blunt force trauma. The body may have ended up in the prairie up to eight years prior to discovery. Is that the same thing? The victim was located in a dry creek bed one quarter mile northwest of Greenfield Road in the rural Beaver County. So, ten coins in the pockets of the pants dated 1979 to 1996. Which would leave him out, wouldn't it? Because that means they would have had to have been, unless somebody went to the body and put new coins at, long after they were dead. Then they would have had to die between 1996 and 2004. So, those are the only ones that I could find. But I went by the 5'5". Five five. I didn't go by the 6 foot to 6 foot one So, if you have any information, please contact authorities. Please feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to pray for his family, his loved ones, and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.